We're standing here in the kitchen at my house because it's too cold to work in the garage. I took a piece of wood. you got to tell them what you're doing before you do it, Dad. Oh, okay. We're making hangers. We're making wire hangers because the plastic ones from American Girl cost too much. See what and you made. Out looking like that. Three so far. Mm hmm Now, we took a piece of wood and we traced an American Girl plastic hanger on it. Then I put some nails in some of the key curves all the way around the hanger. Now that won't fit on there anymore. I know. And then I put a nail on this side of the wire here and on the inside side of the wire there because when you twist it, it uh, tends to warp in. Okay, now, just... anybody can do this. All you need is finishing nails. And what we do is I start with that. And the wire is 14 gauge wire from Walmart, but you can get it at like Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Hobby Lobby too, probably. Uh, and maybe. if you use mechanics wire, which this is not mechanics wire, that's what I wanted, get the coated kind. Yeah, because you don't want it to rust on your doll's clothes. No, of course <laughs> not. Now, that's, basic, that, that's the basic pattern. I cannot get this curve to close up enough. Let me just give it a little bit of assistance. So you can ask your dad to help you with this or somebody? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to bring that up and bring that up. You see, now we have both of the ends. Now what I'm going to do is grab it with a pair of pliers and twist them just like a regular wire hanger is. Make a couple of twists. And this will save you guys a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, because the plastic hangers are expensive. Well, they are because they don't come with the outfits anymore, which they used to. So kind of frustrating. We have the basic form made. I'm going to form the hook. And about all you can do with that is just do it with your thumb and do it by hand until it looks right. About like that. Then I'll take a pair of cutters and cut off the excess. And I always turn them over on the same pattern just to make sure that they're as symmetric as I can get them anyway. Just press them down. And that's how you make a wire hanger. Sweet. For your dolls. So you we use 14 gauge, but you can also use 18 gauge, which is what somebody else who the person who gave me the idea used 18 gauge. 18 gauge um, is lighter than this. It's lighter, so if you are gonna do it with your mom, maybe get 18 gauge, because this is not easy to bend and I can't bend it, so. Anyways, yeah, that's about it. We're going to make a whole bunch of these, and if you make them, let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.